this is pretty impressive really. Silver Rock Resort La Quinta. Set right against the mountains here. Second, it's a par five. That's my third shot in the par five. Get my ass up against that tree there. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna chip it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had to chip out, and uh, I've got my fourth shot to about eight feet. So I got that for the par. Steve's down there in three putt territory for three, so he's got a birdie putt. But a bit challenging. This is the third par three. I found myself in that bunker over there. I've got that tricky shot there to play. There it is. So I've got a lot of work to do from down here to get it all the way up there. Par four here, the fourth. Probably a bit of a tee off back. Hmm. We both hit good drives on the fourth onto the middle of the fairway. So we only have an eight or nine on in. On the fifth here, short par four, it's about 263 metres. And we've got big horn sheep coming out of those mountains up there to feed on the grass. Just going past a few big horn sheep here, look at this. Right at the edge of the fairway. They reckon obviously the food's pretty good down here. Uh, she's the Judas goat, mate. The Judas goat is the one that tells you where all the other goats are so you can go and shoot them. No way to shoot these ones. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Yeah. Straight at it, mate. Oh, yeah, you got about a six footer. Completely <laughs> lost it, looked up and saw the sun. It was a great shot, mate. Oh, number six. To par four, we've got to a pace of play 384 metres, 224 to the bunker on the left. Looks like it's got a nice par five. Ah, oh, okay, so down there and across the water. Oh, yeah, there's the green up there. Man, so you got to get up here, down there, and then across there and up there. So this is Ooh, the seventh, under a tree. Seventh, par five. This board has a second shot. And uh, let's push my height. Oh, shit. On the eighth. And uh, about 130 metre par three. The big bunker on the left. Bogey that par five back there. Two in the bunker for a six. <laughs> Got those for birdies. So uh, no give me two putt though, I don't think. Green's looking a little bit faster now. Check out this right at the back of the green. I don't think you get a hole in one off that. Look at the dog leg with big bunkers. <laughs> Oh, that's the ninth green, and I managed to get the par with a sandy one putt from about six feet. A little waterfall there just going into the lake next to the tent. Par four, it's only 280. That bunker down there to the right of the green is about 260. I can't drive that far though. This is the 11th, huh? Got a par on 10. Par four. Bunker on the right's 220 meters. I need to be left of that, obviously. Here's another one of Collins Canals, going right through the middle of the golf course. 
can see the flow of the water there is quite flowing quite fast. So obviously, there's a lot of water pumping through here. That's, Man. Uh, that's come from a long way, that stuff. Yeah? It's a far canal. It's a far canal. Nice. This is the 11th. Beautiful. Got that, 150. 5, 5, 12. 260 to that uh, irrigation channel we saw back there. 491 meters. <laughs> 13. Bunker there, Steve. I'm not sure what I'm going to do from here, though. Ah, greens up here, over there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Where's, yeah. Where's, where's, where did mine finish here? Where? Here. Yeah. Oh right, okay. I only just made it past the corner. I was thinking, Jesus, I've gone into the shit off the end. I've got 145 metres, pins yeah, back. Six iron to the pin. It's a good six iron though. A bit of breeze behind you. Didn't quite get all of it, and I think I'll be short. Oh no. In the middle of the green, but I'm definitely in three putt territory there. Boy! Canal. Canal hit it pretty solid. Jesus, stand back. <coughs> uh, you're not going to like that. A little short par three is only 93 meters. I hit a utility wedge and it's. Um, Almost sucked back off the green. I'm in three putt territory. Tough little green. I've pitched it, you know, twice as close to the flag. It's stopped and it's just trickled way back, way back down there into three putt territory. Steve's got this bunker shot to play. Seven fourteenth. Four hundred forty-three meters. Four hundred thirty-four meters. Must be a par four, is it? long. 219 to that bunker on the right. Then, Cole. It's a massive bunker in front of the ground. Yeah, don't be short. Hmm. 166 metres. Got to carry that bunker. It's a bloody good gone. four on. Or Grand Park Club. This is a 17th. It's a par three across that water. 166 metres. <laughs> It's exactly the same distance as I just hit with my four iron and ended up short. Now I don't really want to end up short here because there's a lot of water there, which is not ideal. So what are we going to hit? Four iron, obviously had too much club because uh, I almost went through the back into this little lake or little um, creek running past. Waterfall here, stuff is all man made. Well, I've got a tricky chip up against this rock here. That's not easy. safe bounce off the cart path second shot on the par five we got water to go over a little bridge up here I've hit mine up there somewhere I think I'll have like about a wedge in maybe nice little bridge we're crossing over there how's this for a buggy house it's like a big tent 
But it's over 40 degrees, so we've got this misty happening here. 81 you had. 81 did I? That's alright. Three, three putt on the last. Three putt on the last, yeah. yeah.